Good morning, and welcome to another Writer's Morning Commute. This will be my third and last episode on Netflix's Death Note adaptation. So, last two days I discussed some of the things I liked about this movie. A short list of things that I disliked about the movie. Uh, from a writing standpoint. And now I'm going to take a chance. The movie was just so, so underwhelming. So, I'm sorry if I'm uh, laughing too much. It was just ridiculous in how not as good as the source material it was, is. So what can we learn as writers, how can I take that all and incorporate it into my own work? So I think the first lesson is an interesting one. Uh, it's also one that I saw espoused in another YouTube video recently, but I don't remember who made that video. Uh, but they were talking about how uh, the Dark Knight, Christopher Nolan movie, works well because you have Batman and these three other villains. No, it wasn't Dark Knight, it was Batman Begins. Uh, how they had Batman and these three other villains making up kind of this square of uh, beliefs, I guess. Uh, where you had people who used violence on one side and who they used violence on, whether it was the good guys or the bad guys, uh, you know, civilians or uh, criminals. And they kind of made it square. So there's one person who didn't use violence on criminals, there was one person who didn't use violence on civilians, and there was one person who used violence on criminals, and one person who used violence on civilians. Uh, and it was, you know, Batman, and Scarecrow, and uh, Ra's al Ghul, and the third one was the gangsters, uh, the mob guy, whose name I don't remember. So similar to that, I feel like Death Note had, the original Death Note had light and L in this cat and mouse game. This movie adaptation adds in Mia as a kind of third part of that. Um, and just having multiple conflicts like that, increasing the number of conflicts. So every person you add to this mix adds an exponential number of conflict points. So if you have two people, you only have one conflict between the two of them. Uh, the Netflix movie added the third person, so then that adds conflict between her and Light, and between her and L. so that's three points of conflict, instead of just two, or just one. So if you add in a fourth person, you get six instead of three, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, obviously, there would become a, become a point where it was too much, um, or where you couldn't actually explore all those intersections. Uh, if you look at like Game of Thrones, there's you know a ton of characters, and they can each have conflict with whoever they encounter, um, but not everybody's going to encounter everybody else. Another thing that the Netflix adaptation did well in my opinion, uh, as I mentioned yesterday, was the uh, montage at the beginning that showed how Kira's presence was changing the world. And we got past a lot of the stuff that wasn't important to the core conflict of the story. We got a little bit of uh, foreshadowing, a little bit of uh, establishing of concepts like the Kira cult that came up to be important later. But in general, the uh, 
montage worked very well to get us to the core conflict of the story as quickly as possible. It brought in L right away. Um, so it introduced us to, the movie introduced us to the idea of the Death Note, the rules, how it worked, and then skipped to where L shows up. Which I thought was a good move. Uh, it's always a good idea to try to get to your uh, business, uh, the main idea of your book, as quickly as possible, rather than setting up all the world building and whatnot. Anything else I can end on here? I guess the last thing is to consider what consider different changes. As I mentioned in the intentional diversity video, uh, in this case, they changed the light to be just a normal, like kind of character or a audience concert character, where that made him less interesting than his original super genius psychopath. Um, so consider what changes you can make to your cast to make your story the most interesting, whether that's race, class, gender, um, intellectual level. You know, just try to make your story as best as you can. On that note, thank you very much for hanging out with me these last three days. Uh, I appreciate it. Have a great day.